Hi everybody, welcome to Phoenix Live and a blinding edition of Insights. So recently uh, I've been watching a lot of different kind of short documentaries and pieces just on different aspects of the world we live in and uh, and what's really going on big picture wise. Oh, by the way, do you like my shirt? Speaking of big picture, isn't that cute? Isn't that an adorable little critter? Don't you reckon? Just my camera a bit. And uh, upon my research, upon my watching of different things and reading, I found a video called Why I Quit Being a, I think it was a sound effects guy. And basically it was a hello to whoever just entered the room. Uh, it was a video from a guy who used to work on these very, um, very well-known games that were published for the big consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox and all of this. Quite a lot of well-known titles, and I'm not going to go into detail about which ones and which groups, because that's irrelevant. They're all the game industry and all games that use sound effects um, operate by the same kind of standard. And basically, I watched this video of this guy pretty much saying that he quit. First, first he got into the, into the business because he realized that video gaming would be the next big thing, that it would explode. And um, at the moment, it is making a lot more revenue than uh, than movies. Yeah. So he, 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 he made the right choice. Um, so why did he leave? Why did he quit? Well, he went on to explain by starting uh, with a question. When you're playing a video game and, you know, you're fighting, let's say, a dinosaur, a, a ginormous beast, and you hear the beast roaring, okay? Or when you're watching a movie such as Alien and you're hearing the alien screeching and making these horrific kind of guttural, visceral sounds, all right? Whatever it be, whatever monster it be that's making a monstrous sound effect, how do you think those sound effects are made? Do you think they're just randomly created on, on some program for creating sound effects with no baseline samples or anything like that? Have you, you've probably never, if you're like most people, like myself, I never really gave it any thought. And it's easy just to go along with things in the same vein as like when you're shopping and I'm just eating mints, that's all nicely wrapped. I'm just eating pork. I'm just eating beef. It's like, no, it's actually slaughtered pig. It's slaughtered oink. That's actually slaughtered moo. That's actually cow. But we kind of remove ourselves from the reality and we just see it as mints, pork, beef, wrapped up neatly for me to consume. And that's it. We don't really think about the greater reality attached to the truth of what's going on. In the same vein, when we watch movies and play games, we hear these sound effects, we just assume, this is just normal. I'm just playing a game. This is just fucking awesome. And it is quite exciting when you hear, you know, when you're, when you're fighting these colossal giants and these beasts and they're roaring and this power, it's scary, it's unnerving, it's, it is visceral and, and it's, it's, it's exciting. It's very satisfying. Which is why... It's even more sickening and gross once you comprehend the truth of where these sound effects are uh, actually taken from. Not created from thin air, but taken from. Where do you people think? Do you guys know about this? Anyone watching right now? Do you guys know where the sound effects that you hear in your movies? For example, uh, you know, it's Star Wars, Star Wars, all right? Luke Skywalker's, um, you know, his fighter plane, whatever it's called, the TIE jet, the TIE fighter. You know, when the TIE fighter in Star Wars is flying, it makes that, it makes that, like, that noise. I can't do it, because I'm not a TIE fighter. I'm not an elephant either. And that's actually what you're hearing. It's actually an elephant um, crying out, and they've taken that sound, and they've played it backwards, and then modulated it a bit. That's the sound of Luke Skywalker's TIE fighter. He's an elephant. Um, when you're hearing a dinosaur roaring in a movie, or a giant monster roaring really loud, what you're actually hearing is typically a tiger. A tiger. Or a lion um, being agitated in a cage. 
And this guy that I saw this video who used to be a sound programmer and work with sound effects for video games, he said that what they would do when they're making a game is they would go out to places where they hold animals in captivity and let's say they wanted to make an alien that's screeching, like in the movie Alien, when they had that real, like, ugh, that shrill screech. He said what they would do is they would find a pig and actually castrate the pig and record the sounds that it produced uh, without any anesthetic. Um, and then they would record these sounds and then they would take it back um, to where their, their place of work and they would modulate it. Sometimes they would overlap noises been, that have been recorded from different sources, from different animals, and they would overlap them, they'd edit them, tweak them. But fundamentally, a lot of, if not most of, if not all of... Hey, Zorus, how are you, buddy? How's life going? Some pretty heavy shit I'm talking about, huh? Uh, most of the sound effects you hear in your movies, when you hear any beast making a noise, any monster, any alien, um, a lot of the time, it's actually the sound of an animal that is being agitated or prodded or tortured. How else do they produce those real guttural, visceral sounds? Unless they're inspiring and inside another creature a feeling that is very guttural and visceral, full of pain and emphasis. And that's what we hear when we hear a roaring dinosaur. It's a roaring tiger, lion that's being prodded or likewise hurt. When we hear an alien screeching, it's a pig being castrated. So now when you're playing your video games, let's say you're playing Far Cry Primal and there's the mammoths, the big woolly mammoths, and you're poking them with your spear and they're going and, and you know killing over and making the sound effects that a woolly mammoth you'd imagine would make um it's no longer as fictional as you think because every time you poke it and every time you hear that sound that noise now your brain will know wow that's actually a genuine recording of an animal being hurt of an animal suffering so every time i'm actually hurting these beasts on a game as much as it's as it's fictional the sound effects that are coming out every time i do that isn't fictional it's real and it's recorded from animals that are tortured and this is like i said leaked by a guy in the industry that they go out there seeking animals they'll castrate pigs prod and fuck with different animals to get sound effects all right to make it authentic and it just provides the best baseline. Why waste time producing from scratch these noises when it's just business? Just go out there and take some animal and cut off its balls and record the noise it makes. Far more simpler and much more realistic. It really hits the spot. And that's the thing, the fractal of evil, the fractal of grossness and the, the monstrosities and the atrocities and the transgressions that we can commit under the guise of business is just staggering. It's just business. It's just easier to cut off the balls of a pig and record the screeching sound and put that as a sound effect for an alien as opposed to creating the sound effects of an alien from scratch. I would say there should be petitions made for this that they stop doing this. It's actually ruined it for me. It's hard to watch movies now, to play video games now, when any time I hear a roar from a beast or a monster or an alien or whatever it be, even the TIE fighter in, in Star Wars, the elephant backwards, right? Now I'm, I'm aware. And I'm sorry, guys, because ignorance is bliss. And maybe I've kind of tarnished your movie-going experience in your video game haven. But it ruined it for me a little bit. It definitely tarnished it because I, I enjoy video games. I enjoy movies. And now when I hear these things, I can hear clearly where those sounds are coming from. Now that my brain is made to connect... I can hear when there is a lion being prodded. I can hear when there is a pig being castrated. I can hear when there is an animal essentially being tortured. And what makes it irksome for me and difficult now for me, why it's tarnished my experience is how can I in my right mind as a decent individual human being willingly without a second thought and feeling derive pleasure from another's suffering? How could I... Get excited over those sound effects taken from other suffering. It's kind of fucked up.
It's a little bit fucked up. And to finish, to finish this little talk, you know what the most ironic thing about all of this is? In movies, when you see animals being hurt, you know, and, and they say, don't worry, no animals were harmed in the making of this film. Well, yeah. No animals were harmed in the making of the film. What you actually see on the film that's presented but animals typically are very much hurt in the making of the sound effects behind the film and that is fucked up